What is up guys and welcome to today's video. This is gonna be, this is a milestone for us. This is a milestone for you guys, this is a milestone for the channel and everything that has become our life. And um, You what, bought a Swift, right? No, not yet. But <laughs> what is behind us, well in front of us, but behind the camera, yeah. is something that I did not think would be possible at all for my life and everything that I thought that I was gonna be doing here in Japan. Um, I don't really know what else to say and I'm sure the sum thumbnail already shows what we're doing and what this video is about But um, I'm really excited to introduce you guys to the new Semet headquarters Woo! Woo! <laughs> And the best thing yet is you guys are invited So I don't know where to start, but as you can see this building is huge I think the first thing we need to say is a little bit down that road. And by the way, I don't care that you guys can see where we are because like I said, you're invited. Yeah. And this is what this part of the front of the shop is all going to be about. And um, we'll get into it more in a little bit. But we're literally a couple minutes walk from the big up garage in Machida, Yokohama and a few minutes walk from Minami Machida Station. Where station, you can take where if you, you want to go to that like up like garage. up garage or you want to come and yeah. check out you know br racing is down the road tomei is down the road so a bunch of jdm shops and we're smack bam in the middle of all of them and this is it this is semit headquarters oh this is so crazy it's where should we start i don't know i guess okay, we should start, start with, with this thing because this is what you guys are going to be mainly experiencing we've got the keys contracts and everything assigned um, it's honestly, this place used to be a cleaning place and we'll talk about why that's a good thing when we get inside, but this thing is actually not included, um, as the building. This was built by the previous people as a little storefront for the dry cleaning services that they had. And it just so happens that it's perfect for a little retail storefront for everyone to come and get their merch and check out the shop and merchandise and products and I don't know, whatever else we decide to do. Oh, oh. hang on a second, let me turn the power bar. <laughs> now that the power's turned back on, this is gonna be the new retail storefront. So, I mean, it's okay, man. I, I'm, I'm against that. Anyways, this is where, it's pretty echoey in here, go. This is gonna be the new location for Semit LLC and the merch. Um, it's gonna be retail storefront. So we've been realizing recently that we've been getting a lot of Japanese fan base and they always want to come and grab the merch whether it's in person or you know pay for it through Japanese payment methods yeah. which we can't currently offer on the online store it is so echoey here um, so this is what this is going to be something that you guys can come and visit you can come buy merch if I'm inside and all that kind of stuff and timing works out you know we may be able to do shop tours and stuff like that but that's not going to be open every single day you know that would have to be something booked and we'll figure something out for that in the future especially if we're filming top secret stuff no it's disconnected so this used to be the bell that was wired into the shop, main shop but nice big bench air conditioned like it's it's so perfect for just a storefront and this will be full of racks and everything with all the merch There'll be a computer and everything set up in here. Yeah. All orders are going to be getting packed in here and shipped to you guys. And it's it's just really cool. It's like perfect. It's own little shop. So this will be open pretty much all through the week is my plan. You know, business hours. And even when I'm like at the track or at Ebisu drifting, filming, this should always still be open for people to come and purchase stuff from. So I'm really excited about that. May is also really excited about that because we get out one of our bedrooms back in the house. Yes. Because currently that's the merch room. Anyway, so this is the new merch location, right? And I'm sure we'll be stocking more stuff inside as well. And, um, sorry, now my, I can actually think now that echo was so insane. I'm sorry if that was insane for you guys too. We'll lock that again later. But like I said, I'm sure we'll be putting some stock and stuff in this main building too. And, um, I don't want to give away anything, but I'm sure you can tell by the windows that it's multi-leveled. So anyway, come inside. Guys. Come inside. We've already had a little bit of work done. So we've known about this for a while and it's been killing me not oh, telling you guys. Yeah. And even when this video goes up, it's going to be a while. But um, we've already had new lights installed and let's Welcome just, let's just show you guys. Shop. This is the new shop. Come inside. This is the new shop, guys. This is the new shop, guys. This is the new shop. All right, high ceilings. 
We have like a 20 inch thick concrete, concrete. floor foundation. It survived so many earthquakes. This building is quite old, but as you can see, all the beams, they're massive load bearing beams and stuff. There's a lot of room for expansion in here. And I mean, you can already see, we've got the lights installed. It looks amazing. The walls right now, little janky. I have plans to get that fixed up, but my first priority is the floors and getting some lifts installed. That's another video. We will get to that later, but exciting things, exciting things, guys. First of all, is if you remember the last building that we got, the old little shop that we're still moving everything out of, um, when we got that, it was a disaster. And that's just with commercial properties, they, the owners don't clean up for you, right? They don't clean the building. But this one, they did. They were super like, nice. So clean. Yeah. So like the wallpaper and everything. Everything, everything. So like they renovated all of what's upstairs. New they renovated bathroom. new bathrooms, new sinks. So like, you know, even though the floors are still kind of half painted and stuff, it's okay because we're epoxying everything. But brand new bathrooms. Previously, we're in here with Japanese old squat toilets. We got, you know, good old Western style sit down one, you know. <laughs> I feel like that was a perfect opportunity for manscape placement. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like two bathrooms, a kitchen, like there's so much here. All right, yeah. so this is the main shop area. Let me show you why this is amazing. Come here, come here. As my good friend at Donut Media would say, more power, baby. <laughs> And you think I'm done? More power, baby! Like, you have no idea how much three-phase power comes into this building. It's actually scary, but um, there's another one over there that I'm showing you, but this one... More power, baby! So yeah, we got a lot of three-phase power in here, and it's perfect for lifts, shop equipment, tire machines, everything that we need. And um, we actually have the transformer like literally in the backyard. Oh yeah, yeah. there's a backyard. Yes. Um, <laughs> you got also fans. Too. Oh yeah, we have extraction fans and all that stuff. When you um, get like a... Whole place is getting air conditioned by the way. Yeah. That's another video. Um, <laughs> this is what I think it's sold cool. it for me. Yeah. This building has a compressor room. <laughs> A separate little room that you close for the compressors and the loud equipment. How freaking awesome is that? Yeah, and it's so connected. Usually you put a box like outside, but like the fact that that's here, it's just freaking amazing. So yeah, the thing has missed one spot here. <laughs> I'm not mad. At it. So yeah, the electricians have already been here. They wired up everything. Sorry, I'm talking over you, babe. No. Um, all the new lights. I brought these in from China. It was that was fun. Um, PowerPoints. I told the guys I wanted for every two PowerPoints its own circuit. So they're not all linked together on one circuit. So the brake is going to go every time we're using a bit of gear. Each PowerPoint, each two is in its own circuit. So that's freaking awesome. And on every wall in the middle of every two beams is a PowerPoint. Even up there. Yeah. We went all out. We went, we, we went all out. It was an expensive electrician bill. I don't <laughs> want to talk about it. <laughs> that's done. But we need it. Yeah, and we didn't just do lights out, uh, uh, inside, by the way. Come, come have a quick look out here. Right, you remember how it was getting dark? Well, look how light and bright and lit this is up right here. I got a two, two, like 200 watt LED lights and that's awesome. We're gonna probably add more later, but look at that. It lights up the front of the shop too. Anyways, come inside. Let's go to the second floor. May, is there anything that I'm missing? Uh, no. No. How perfect is this place? They even have the railings and stuff for all yeah, the wiring. Yeah, I love, like, I love that's that. That's gonna help us out so much when we get the big aircon units installed in here, and they're not gonna be loud ones. They're gonna be like actual like inside office ones that are gonna be mounted in the roof. It's not gonna look great up there, but you know it's gonna be nice and quiet and perfect for filming. And the walls, I do have plans to fix up, like I said, and we're gonna have to obviously black out some windows and stuff like that for like just making sure that there's no lighting issues with filming, but this is like amazing base. So, come to the second floor, guys. So like, look how big this is, guys. Hang on, you stay there for a second. Look how big this is, guys! By the way, help me decide where to put the lifts. Do I put them on this wall, or do I put them on this wall, or do I do some weird angle stuff? You tell me, because I have no freaking clue. I've never set up a shop like this before. I've never set up any shops. 
So, yeah, tell me how I should lay this out, please. Uh, just through a big, a big square. Oh, by the way, this is like 350 square meters. It's freaking awesome. Welcome to the second floor, guys. This is gonna be the office space. The best thing is it's already air conditioned. You see the air con units in the roof here. These are actually gonna be the same units we're putting down in the shop. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking right now it's pretty echoey. Because we don't have anything. Because we have nothing in here. Let's get some air in here because I'm suffocating from the fumes of the fresh paint. <laughs> um, but this is like office space, podcast space. There's some things I want to talk to you guys about that later on. Um, and as we grow, I believe that we will also be able to potentially expand the office as well over the roof, right? Because we're only on one portion here. Now, I believe that is going to be quite expensive, um, but that's an option. And I don't think that's not going to happen for a very long time in the future. And who knows, by that time, we may be looking at buying a mountain or something, who knows. Um, but yeah. You have sims and everything, yeah? Office space. Yeah, we're going to have the racing sim in here, like a proper one, maybe two of them. We're going to have just a bunch of, you know, office desk stuff as well. Really kick it, kill us, like internet, super fast internet here in Japan, of course. It's going to be great. It's going to be like the main, like, office space. And what I'm excited about this is I have the opportunity of not bringing work home with me now. Because I'll be, like, this is so close to our house, like 15 minutes. So it's perfect. Now, we have a kitchen. Japanese style kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Which, by the way, hey, please try and reach these cupboards. Isn't this so funny? So Japan's so whack with their kitchen stuff. Look at this. The bench is so low that I'm gonna hurt my back if I try to do the dishes. But the cupboards are nice and high. And I can reach that. But May can't reach that. But this bench is perfect for her height. Yeah. And then um, new bathroom here as well. We can add a shower later. I'm actually thinking, should I just do the whole like Tokyo Fast and Furious Drift thing? We get some old capsules from a capsule hotel and mount them somewhere downstairs? No. Big brain? Big pee pee? Anyway, so this is the office space. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? Yes, you are. What? So right now, you are only seeing houses around here. Oh, here. yeah. Or even there, right? Like, mm. See houses around here, but mm. actually, in four years, no, no, they start construction shit. next year. Next year, sorry, all of it's demolished. It's going to be all demolished because the government decided they're going to make a like brand new main a road, brand new main road yeah. out here. So we're going to be right on the main road yeah. in a few years, and yeah, that's going to be huge for huge. us because you know, because this area is industrial, but there's 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 like you know normal residential stuff there. But that's like most of it's already been bought by the government, no one's living in them. And they're all being demolished and in the next year they start like in the next year demolished and already started building the new main road. And our shop will be on the side of that brand new main road. Yeah. And it's gonna be like a big main road. Like if you know anything about Japan, like the two four six road, it's gonna be pretty much the same thing as that. So it's really, really cool and we've just landed on this really amazing opportunity that we couldn't say no to. Mm. So yeah. Um Welcome to Semit LLC headquarters, Semit headquarters. And I guess now I need to tell you guys about how you can be involved in this and be one of the first to get a tour of the place and all the cars and everything once it's finished. So uh, let's head back downstairs and talk about that. So we wanted to do something special for you guys. Just with what we did with when we announced that I was driving for Formula Drift, you guys all wanted to be a part of that and do what you could to help. So we put together that pack and you guys absolutely smashed it and that helped us out so much being able to afford starting the, the Formula Drift program and be able to go out there and compete. Like I can tell you right now, we would not have mm -hmm. been able to get out there and compete and just yeah. get fourth place yeah. if it wasn't for that. That literally got us out there and made that, that event, got the car finished on time and everything. Yeah. Like yeah. people don't understand how expensive it is competing in Formula Drift. Like that's it here in Japan at J2 level. I can't imagine what it's like at pro level in the USA. Yeah. That aside, the shop, Obviously it's a big move and I know a lot of you guys are going to want to be part of that again as well and instead of you know saying hey like you know subscribe to this this you know Patreon or anything like that I'd rather give you guys the opportunity to get something really really cool and something that way like it, it helps us both out you know so we're going to put together a really cool pack um, and what I'm really excited about is we're going to be including a golden ticket just like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> 
and it's going to be a golden ticket and it's going to be for you and a friend right this is all going to be included in the merch pack there's a really cool design as well with the shop and like it's going to be neon tokyo themed and stuff we're going to put a picture here of everything that's in the pack but like i said you're going to get a golden ticket for you and a friend when you're next here in japan and that's going to give you access to get a full tour of the shop upstairs downstairs and the retail store and obviously some time with me now you are going to have to make sure that you um email us and let us know when you're coming and all that kind of stuff that out, yeah. that'll all be sorted out later but they're the only people that are going to be getting kind of like a vip uh, uh like tour of the place if that makes sense mm -hmm. I can't guarantee you that I'm gonna be here all the time. And if you guys rock up, that's it's open to you guys, but it's mainly gonna be for the retail store, right? So you guys will be able to buy merch and stuff. If it happens that I'm here, I'm not in the middle of filming or working on something secret, then by all means, I'm a really nice person. I like to meet you guys and show you guys around. So then, you know, the timing might work out. Um, but the only ones that we're gonna book, the only tours that we're gonna book and I'm gonna specifically schedule time for are for those of you that choose to support us in this massive leap forward and uh, endeavor and next move for uh, the channel and everything that we're doing here. So I hope you guys understand that. I hope you guys understand the, the value and everything that we're putting in that and how much we really appreciate your support there. So links will be to that pack down in the description and it'll only be a pre-order available for the next two weeks. Once the two weeks end, the pre-order ends and the, these items will not be sold in the retail store ever again. Mm. And with that, I think that's it. Mm. So yeah, welcome to the new Summit headquarters. You guys are invited. And um, get excited for a shop painting um, floor videos. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't worry. We're doing that get differently elbow. this time. Get elbow. Yeah, get elbow right here with the rollers. But yeah, I hope you guys are excited for more shop update content and what we're going to be doing and achieving in this building. This is such a huge jump forward compared to where we are now. Like, good job. Yeah, good job. You. She found this place. Okay. That was a miracle in itself. All right. Let's leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys. Smash that like button, rise a comment, and subscribe. And we will see you all in the next video. Peace. Jamata.